Hey guys, Michael Sanchez, Violin Teacher here. Today I want to give you guys some tips on how to play well in tune as related to whole steps and half steps. So being that the violin is a fretless instrument, it's so important that we have our fingers in the right spots. So for example, when you have our first finger on the D string, which is an E, it would be nice to know exactly what the distance is to that next note, which is F, right next to the one. That would be called a half step. So to be able to do this, I highly recommend that you guys really focus on your thumb position. It should be even with where your one is, your first finger. And this is also really important when you start shifting and that you want your thumb and your first finger to sort of work together and be even, be perpendicular like this to the fingerboard. And then what's really important is as you're placing the second finger down, don't lift up the first finger. Try to use it to actually find the second finger. And understanding how far that distance is, is something that takes time to master on the violin. But try to just to look at your fingers and try to kind of compare them to mine maybe. Mine are a little bit on the bigger side, but I'd say, you know, sort of between average and big. If you have really big fingers, you might have a really, really tight half step to where your fingers are almost like overlapping a little bit. That'd be my grandfather. Uh, but also there's students out there that have really thin fingers. And then there would actually be just a little bit of a gap between your first and second. So try to really understand that distance as that's going to help you with muscle memory and ultimately uh, to play more in tune. So let's play the C major scale. And I want you guys to focus on that distance. Uh, make sure your fingers and knuckles are up high. And try just to make sure you don't lift fingers up as you're placing others down. That basically should tell you that you're pressing down too hard on the fingerboard, which is going to hurt your vibrato and other things. Here's the C major scale. So I'm going to try to put together a whole bunch of great videos for you guys uh, in the key of C, which is what I just played there. And that's going to have a lot of those low twos. So try to work really hard on that scale. Uh, work on some drills that are going to help your uh, you know, left hand and right hand. I'm really a big advocate on working on scales. And if you have any questions, visit ViolinTutorPro.com as we're going to help you guys out. We have a bunch of teachers that are helping out and giving students tips. And we'd love to get you to your next level goal on the violin. If you have any questions, again, uh, please visit our site, and God bless you. Have a great day.